So hey guys, there's a little video on on Okay guys, here's a little video on how to crimp these style connectors. These are from a Garmin GMA340 or a GMA327 style unit. And I just wanted you to point out a couple things with these. One is each of these connectors has a color code and the color codes correspond to the bin numbers. So bin, basic identification number and the uh, color codes as such. Here's my connector for my GMA340. It's orange, blue, and black, which happens to be the same as this. So orange is three, blue is six, and black is zero. So this is a 360 pin, okay? Now, where did I find this information? So to find this information, Um, you go onto the DMC website. You can go to DMC Tools, which is Daniel's Manufacturing Corporation. And what you want to do is you want to go to this connector contact search. And then down here, we've got our get this right away. Okay, we've got our connector contacts. So we're gonna go orange, blue, black. Search. Now this comes up with our pin. That's this is what this particular pin is. Okay, so. This is a 22D size pin, or barrel size. It's P for it's a pin. Here's its current part number. This is the old part number, which is gonna be important in a moment. And we can put 22 to 28 gauge wire in this. And there it gives our color code. If you click on this thing, it'll also give you Okay, so if I go down here, this thing tells me that I can use this AFM8 crimper and this K42 positioner. This unit here is the AFM8 crimping tool and it uses a positioner. So this positioner, there's many different positioners, but this is the one we want. It says there we need the K42. There's the K42 right on there. It's gonna go inside that, goes in and turns, and there it's locked in position. So this style crimper uses a radial crimp. Crimps in like that. And we want to make sure that when we do our crimp, we crimp it properly. So we need to know a few things about it. We go back up here. So this crimp is a barrel size 22D. If we look at the crimper here, that means that we're going to use the 22D size one. And it says if we're using it on 22 gauge wire, we're going to use the number four. And if we're using it on 24 gauge wire, we're gonna use number three. And what these numbers relate to are the dial settings on this. I'll try to see if we can get, a, get it to make a difference. So if I had this dialed up to eight, and I flip this around, you'll notice that what you're adjusting is how far this crimp goes in. Okay, so, um, now, what we want to do is, it says, we're going to be using 22 gauge wire, so we're going to use four. So I'm going to turn this dial to four, 
and then this guy is going to squeeze just a little farther than it did when it was on eight. Okay, now I prefer to take my 22 gauge wire, cut it to, get your 22 gauge wire, get it cut to length, and then um, you have to strip it. Now what I found with this particular stripper is that if I try to do it on 22, I get some broken strands. This is the Daniels website again, uh, their, their book and how to use, how to strip wires. So it says, we want less than 50% of the overall wire di diameter clearance between the insulation and the barrel contact when it's properly stripped. So what they're talking about is this particular space, right, a, a space in between there. Now, um, it says less, here it says less than. My experience with these pins is the way the removal tool works, you want it as close to the pin as possible. Also, there's this wire inspection hole. So if I've done this right, I'll strip my wire, it'll go, it'll go inside the pin and be visible in that inspection hole right there. So we'll strip the wire. So what you want to do is strip the wire. What I found is using the 20 gauge works best for me. So just take an estimate of how much you need, strip it off, and then insert your pin onto the wire, capturing all the strands inside the pin. Okay. Now when I'm pushing this guy down, I need to make sure that it bottoms out. So I'm going past the hole. You can see it going past that hole there. That's gonna make sure that I'm installed far enough for the crimp to do its job properly. All right, so once that's happened, then you insert this pin all the way just right got to find the hole there it goes we're all the way in now that it's all the way in I can crimp it Now I can another, have another look at it. And I can see that I have access to that there. And I can pull, do a pull test on it. That's good. So that's how you crimp that particular connector. Now, I have another connector that we're gonna use. So if I go back, to this guy, I'm gonna use this here particular connector, which is used in the GTX 327. This one here has a brown, blue, and gray color. So brown, or sorry, orange, blue, gray. So this particular one is a wire size of 20. It uses this particular part number and it can be used on 20 to 24 gauge wire. And there's number 368. If I scroll down here, it's telling me that I could use this AF8. So this guy is the one for this particular style and so this is the AF this is the AF8 crimp tool and it has the same kind of stuff except it has this turret on it and the turret I can I can reset its 
pin. Now this here has to do with this wire size barrel. This one says it's wire size barrel 20. So this one here says it's the barrel 20. So if I put the 20 on there and I push that in, it's gonna lock in place. And now if I'm to drop one of these, these guys in there, it's gonna position it at just the right spot so that the circular crimp comes in and gets it at just the right location. Okay, so we got that part done. Now I know my wire gauge size is gonna be wire size 22, right? So I'm gonna flip this up and I'm gonna switch this selector number to 22. How do I know that I need to use this particular barrel? This number right here shows up on this right here. Right there. That's the same. That's not the same number. Sorry, this number here. That number there shows up here. If you're using that connector one, it says using M32 or M39029 slash one to 101, use the red position. So it makes sense. Position 20, we're using uh, this style, it's 63. So we're going to use that now. Uh, in the red position, you go down here, so contact size, we're using number 20. Uh, 20, it says to use red, and we're using it on 22 gauge wire. So if we're using it on 22 gauge wire, we wanna make sure that this selector is set on to number three. So that's how you know you have it set properly. And the same rules apply. Um, you want to strip your wire. So we're going to strip our wire. And again, with this one, I know it's 22 gauge wire, but I'm going to use the 20 stripper because it's not going to damage the wire. And I'm going to put that guy on there. And I can feel that it's bottoming out there actually see that it's bottoming out that's good and I can see that I'm going I can see that I'm going past the uh, witness hole and I can feel it bottoming out on the wires it doesn't have a spongy feeling like it would if it was bottoming out on the Teflon okay so then I'm going to insert that into my tool in the inspection hole I got that on there so that is how you use the DMC website 